What is up guys, it's Poon here, welcome back everybody to another video on the channel, and today, I'm going to be doing a test. So we're going to have a BB, a 4.5mm hollow point round, and then a 4.5mm max penetration round, which is like those armor piercing rounds, then versus the 22. And we're going to be sh shooting these, and our target is going to be this block of wood right here, it's about like an inch thick, and we're going to see how many can go through I guarantee the 22 and the max penetration will go through. Definitely not the BB. I just want to see how far the BB goes. And maybe the CO2 gun. Alright, so I'll show you the ammo we're shooting. Alright, guys, this is what we'll be shooting. The BB, the 4.5mm hollow point, then the 22, then the max penetration round. I just have them from biggest to smallest. Alright, let's get shooting. Alright, guys, first up is the BB. Alrighty guys, this is what the BB did. I'm actually surprised on what all it did. It did only put just like this little small crater. And I don't know if you heard in the video, but it did bounce back. So yeah, this is what it did. And now let's move on to the CO2 Gamo P25. Alright guys, now I got the Gamo P25. Now it hit. Alright guys, so here is what the Gamo did. Now, I don't know if you saw noticed in the video, but I fired 8 shots before the gun went off. I mean, it was going off, but the BB, I mean, the pellet would not go out of the barrel for some reason. I don't know why. If I can get my phone to focus, there we go. But yeah, it's definitely a noticeable crater. And I don't know if you, how good you can see it, but you can even see, like, the uh, marks from the hollow point. Alright, let's move on to the max penetration round. Alright guys, now I have the extended penetration round. Alright guys, so here are the results right here for the max penetration round. It definitely went deeper, but I would have liked if it went all the way. So I'm going to get that out and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright guys, so I was only able to get the plastic casing off. That's not a big deal. So look, I don't know how good you can see it, but yeah. There's the pellet, it's pretty stuck in them. Alright, let's move on to the 22. I have high hopes for this one, since it definitely has the max energy and stuff. It has definitely a whole lot more energy than the 4.5mm. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, so here's the result right here. Now, I have no idea how good you can see this. But right here, there's a big chunk taken out of the wood. See, I can, like, stick my finger in it. I don't know how good you can see it. I'll try to, like, get better of an angle down here. You can see it a little better now. See, I'm not near as impressed as I expected to be with the 22 and the other guns. But, I mean, the 22 shoots at 600 feet per second. The rifle that I shot, not the Red Rider, it shoots at, like, 800, I think I calculated it. Red Rider shoots at 250, and the Gamo shoots at like 555, I think. Alright guys, so please subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Also, comment down below what type of videos I should do. I'll definitely keep, keep doing more air gun videos and real gun videos coming up soon. And I'll definitely still be doing like the Halloween and Christmas stuff. Alright, see you guys on the next one. Bye!